Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to paint this romantic couple under the umbrella. Before we begin, I just want to tell you that by mistake I recorded parts of it in time lapse. But I have tried to slow it down as much as I could and given you all the instruction for you to follow along. Start by adding horizontal strokes of white, then gradually add yellow and continue in horizontal direction and then take a tiny touch of red and continue mixing with the previous two colors. Then with the same colors, start adding strokes on the top which is going to be the leaves. Start with more of yellow and white and then add very less amount of red to make it look like orange. So let the red mix with the yellow and create some orange. Now with the leftover orangish red in my brush, I'm adding some more to the bottom horizontal strokes. Now clean your brush completely or switch to a new brush and we repeat the same process with white, teal blue and Prussian blue. So start with white again and add touches of teal blue and then very less amount of Prussian blue. First the horizontal strokes in the bottom and then the square strokes on the top. Make sure that the previous layer is completely dried so that your blues doesn't get mixed up with the yellows and the reds. And then in the same brush I picked up little bit of red so that it becomes purple on the canvas by mixing with the Prussian blue. Again I cleaned my brush and started with fresh white and yellow in the center and gradually started filling up the blank white spots between the previous strokes on the top. Now the yellow is getting mixed up with some of the previous blues and becoming green. If you think your blue is dried and it is not creating green, just make some green on your palette and then add that green. I also added some red and yellow strokes on top of the blue strokes in the top. And finally we add some of the green strokes in the bottom horizontal stroke as well. Now to draw the couple painting on the canvas, um, whatever you have done so far, let it completely dry. Then take a printout of this uh, picture, uh, I have uploaded it as a reference. So just take a printout of that. If you don't have a printer available immediately, what you can do is just, you know, have this picture open on your laptop and then place an empty paper like a blank uh, white paper on top of your uh, you know computer screen and uh, increase the brightness so this is just an easier way of doing it i am just teaching it to you that i do normally um, so and then place the paper on top of your laptop screen and then you will be able to see the black line through the paper then hold a pencil like this and it's going to be a little uneasy but if you can do that so feel free to do that or if you have a printer at home just easiest way is just to print it out okay then what you have to do is just take a carbon paper make sure your painting is dry place it over here and then place the printout on top of it and you can just uh, you know lightly trace out the outline on your canvas that's how I have done it so now I have sketched out the couple on the painting and I'm going to start filling it up. So the end of painting is done just using four colors, right? Yellow, red and using that we make orange, um, teal blue and uh, Prussian blue. So using all the colors, we are going to create all the shadows and the shades and the highlights and the shadows of, of the entire couple. Okay, so by mixing yellow and red, we're going to create orange by for creating the shadows and similarly for the blues also we're going to mix the light and the dark blue to create the middle shade. So that is how we are going to create the shadows in the couple.
for the skin color i'm mixing a little bit of orange with a lot of white to create the skin tone so you can create the shade as good whatever shade is uh, that you want um so yeah you can mix a little bit more of yellow to this color or you can add a little touch of black also to it to make it more brownish so it's totally up to you To create the umbrella, first cover it up completely with black. And now before the black dries, just add uh, highlights of uh, white, yellow, orange, maybe a little bit of blue. So just to make the umbrella not look ju just flat out black, but just adding some highlights with little bit of colors on top of it. Now we have reached the, almost the end of the painting. Now we are going to just create the tree branches. So the leaves are already being created while painting the background. Now all we are going to do is just create the tree trunks and connect it to the leaves that we have connect, uh, created before. So just the tree trunks, some of the uh, vertical lines and then we're going to create the lamp line as well. So when painting the tree trunks and the lamppost with black, I'm also creating the reflection of them using the black color as, uh, you know, just by creating some zigzag lines just at the bottom of the trunk. And that's it. We have 
finished creating this painting i know some of it was a little bit of time lapse but if you can pause and uh, watch it and paint it you will be able to do it i'm very sure of that so let me know how it how it went how you created and show me what you did